بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس اور پریویس ٹاپک واز وٹ از بایولوجی کریکٹسٹکس آف لائف میجر ڈویژن آف بایولوجی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے اور ٹاپک ریلیٹڈ ود میجر فیلڈز آف بایولوجی آر برانچز آف بایولوجی ان دس وی ڈسکس اباؤٹ ڈفرینٹ برانچز ون آف دیم از مارفولوجی مارفولوجی از دی اسٹڈی آف فار اینڈ اسٹرکچر آف آرگنزمس دس مارفالوجی فردر ڈیوائڈ ان ٹو ٹو کیٹیگریز ون از دی ایکسٹرنل مارفالوجی دیٹ ریلیٹڈ وتھ دی ایکسٹرنل فارم اینڈ اسٹرکچر آف آرگنزمس سیکنڈ از دی انٹرنل مارفولوجی دیٹ ریلیٹڈ وتھ دی انٹرنل فارم اینڈ اسٹرکچر آف آرگنزمس دس انٹرنل مارفولوجی از آلسو کالڈ اناٹمی اناٹمی از دی اسٹڈی آف internal structure of organs of an organisms next field is physiology physiology is the study of functions of organs of an organism actually physiology deals with the functions and morphology deal with the structure when we are discussing about the pumping mechanism of heart that actually related with physiology and when we study the composition of heart then it relate with the morphology morphology is related structural while physiology related with functional study next one is the cell biology cell biology is the study of cell and its organelles with the help of microscope what is cell cell is the structural and functional unit of life next one is the histology histology related with tissues study of tissue with the help of microscope is called histology what are tissues tissues are group of cells that perform a specific function and this group of cell that perform specific function called tissues and study of tissue with the help of microscope is called histology next one is the parasitology parasitology related with the study of parasites what are parasites parasites are organisms that get benefit from host and host will be harmed in this association one organism get benefit while other organism harm so these organisms are called parasite 
एंड स्टडी ऑफ पैरासाइट आर कॉल्ड पैरासाइटोलॉजी नेक्स्ट वन इज दी इकोलॉजी इकोलॉजी रिलेटेड विथ इन्वायरमेंट सो दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड इन्वायरमेंटल बायोलॉजी इन्वायरमेंटल बायोलॉजी इज द स्टडी ऑफ इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन ऑर्गेनिजम्स विद environment in this how environment affect on organisms and how organisms get benefit from the environment so this interaction between organism and environment is called ecology or environmental biology next one is the embryology embryology is also called developmental biology this is a developmental stages of embryo till born or hatched so this is called embryology or developmental biology this is actually related with the different developmental stages of embryo till it born or hatched next one is the paleontology paleontology related with fossils what are fossils fossils are dead remains of extinct organisms that were preserved in rocks these may be in the form of plant body these may be in the form of animal body study of plant fossils are called paleo botany and study of animal fossils are actually called paleo zoology next one is the molecular biology molecular biology is the study of organisms at molecular level in this we discuss organisms at their molecular stage what type of biological molecule present in the body of the organisms can be discussed in this branch in this field next one is the evolution evolution is the study of gradual changes in organisms through which new species arise with the passage of time changes were occurred through which organism become simple to complex these gradual changes indicate how new species were evolved these changes actually related with the evolutionary field this evolution is also called evolutionary history of organisms next one is the बायोजियोग्राफी बायो मीन ऑर्गेनिज्म जियोग्राफी मीन डिफरेंट रीजन बायोजियोग्राफी इज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन डिफरेंट regions of the earth next one is the zoo geography 
जू मीन एनिमल ज्योग्राफी मीन डिफरेंट रीजन्स सो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एनिमल्स इन डिफरेंट रीजन ऑफ द अर्थ इज कॉल्ड जू जियोग्राफी वाइल द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स इन द डिफरेंट रीजन ऑफ द अर्थ कॉल्ड बायोजियोग्राफी मेजर डिफरेंस बिटवीन बायोजियोग्राफी एंड जू जियोग्राफी इज स्पेसिफाइड बायोजियोग्राफी रिलेटेड विद द All organisms on the different region of the earth, while zoo geography is only specification with the animals on the different region of the earth. So distribution of animals on the different region of the earth is called zoo geography, and distribution of organisms in the different region of the earth called biogeography. Next one is the freshwater biology. Fresh water biology is the study of organisms in fresh water. Fresh water is in the form of river, ponds, streams. All water that contain less amount of salt is in the category of fresh water, and the study of organisms living in fresh water called fresh water biology. Next one is the marine water biology. Marine water biology is the study of organisms living in. marine water such as ocean and sea major difference between fresh water and marine water is in the presence of salt water containing less amount of salt is categorized in the form of fresh water and water containing large amount of salts are categorized in the form of marine water and fresh water biology and marine water biology is the organisms living in fresh water are categorized in the form of fresh water biology and marine water biology organisms living in marine water are categorized in the form of marine water biology next one is the human biology human biology is the study of human beings in this we discuss morphology physiology genetics and evolution of human beings when we specify human beings and study their morphology physiology genetics and their evolution history then this study is called human biology next one is the social biology social biology is the social behavior and criminal life of organisms in this we discuss about social activities and criminal life of organisms such as human criminal life honey bees ants so the study of social behavior of such social animals are called सोशल बायोलॉजी नेक्स्ट वन इज दी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इज मॉडर्न टेक्निक दैट रिलेटेड विद द यूज ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर देयर 
प्रोसेस फॉर दी सेंसेस ऑफ सम प्रोडक्ट्स these products use for the welfare of human being in this technology we synthesize some important product and these product can be utilized for the benefit of mankind for example production of insulin from bacteria for the treatment of diabetes dear students some major questions can be derived from these major field or uh, one of them what is morphology what is physiology what is cell biology what is histology what is parasitology what is ecology embryology paleontology molecular biology evolution biogeography what is zoogeography what is fresh water biology what is marine water biology human biology social biology and biotechnology we can actually summarize all these major field in single word morphology related with the structures physiology related with the functions cell biology related with these cells histology related with the study of tissues parasitology related with the study of parasites ecology related with the environmental interaction of organisms embryology related with the study of embryo paleontology related with the fossils and molecular biology related with the study of organism at molecular level evolution related with the gradual changes through which organism becomes simple to complex biogeography related with the organisms in different genes zoogeography related with the animals in different genes fresh water biology related with the organisms in fresh water marine water biology is the organisms in marine water human biology study of human beings social biology related with social behavior and biotechnology is the technology of organisms for the use of human beings for the welfare of human beings thank you very much